Right, folks, so over here I have my brand new display. This is the Alienware 32 inch 4K QD OLED monitor and this thing has just been incredible i should say straight from the offset here that i did buy this with my own hard-earned money so this video is not sponsored but it is a genuinely darn good display ultimately i chose this over one of the samsung odyssey monitors mainly because i much preferred the 1700r curvature which was much more subtle i thought than the 1000 curvature that you do get on the aforementioned odysseys and the other great thing is that this is a 240 hertz display so you can get some whopping fantastic refresh rates as well now i wanted to show you how awesome this monitor is but the problem was i kept realizing that no matter how i showed it to you you're not really seeing the capabilities of the alienware display you are only really seeing the capabilities of your own display that you're watching this video on. And so ultimately, the truth is there is just no way to see how epic this display is without actually seeing it in person. So I thought the next best thing is maybe if I just put it up against another display and you can actually see them both in action at the same time. And so this monitor here that I'm going to be using for the comparison is also a 4K display, the same as the Alienware monitor. And it also has HDR technology. But because this is a more traditional display, rather than being QD OLED, like the Alienware, this is a backlit LED. And both monitors are calibrated so that they can perform to the best of their abilities. Of course, the backlit LED is going to have more traditional HDR, which is HDR10. And the Alienware is going to be able to support true black HDR400. So I'm going to get the camera repositioned now. And yeah, let's see what the sort of difference going for a premium QD OLED display can actually make. So I think straight away, just with my Windows background image, you can see there is a night and day difference. Now, the image here has much more accurate representation in terms of the colors, thanks to the fact that the OLED display is able to represent true black, whereas the backlit LED can only kind of simulate that to some degree, which I'm going to show you more of in a little bit. But just to clarify as well, display one, which is the Alienware, has HDR enabled, and display two, which is my comparison monitor, also has HDR enabled there. Now, maybe on the video, it's just coming through that the comparison monitor is just a little brighter. But actually, in real life, it's more than that. The Alienware is clearly the more vibrant display. And the colour reproduction here, even with just this background image, is phenomenal. Even on the taskbar here in Windows, okay, again on the video, it probably just looks a little brighter here on our comparison monitor. But in real life, the Alienware is showing it to be far more punchy, I think is the best way to describe it. The contrast between the taskbar and the white text that's on the taskbar is so much stronger than it is on our comparison monitor. So I've got this image here, which is just black. That's all it is. And one thing I absolutely love about this QD OLED display is the fact that you can get true black, which is just not possible with an LED screen. So this is actually not just going to be helpful for when you are looking at a black image, but also for pretty much every image, especially images that are taking place in darker areas, you know, when you're gaming or whatever, and you enter a room, it's going to make such a huge difference. So if I move this over to the second monitor, I'm not sure how well that's been uh, captured, how much that's coming across on film. But again, just a complete night and day difference. You can see on the LED monitor how it's trying to simulate the black levels. And yes, when you are just staring at an LED monitor, it's doing a pretty good job. But when you are comparing it to an actual QD OLED display, well, there is no comparison at all. This is very obviously black. And when compared to that black on this side, this is very obviously just dark grey. So let's close that down again. I've got a game running here on my Elgato 4K capture utility. This is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And yeah, it looks beautiful. OK, now this game is going to look stunning no matter what display you played on. But on this Alienware display, it looks phenomenal. It really does. If I go ahead and move it over again to the uh, second monitor, if we sort of have a bit of a comparison there, you can see once more. Again, this is HDR on both displays. But you can see just how much more accurate the colour reproduction is on the Alienware display compared to our comparison monitor. 
It is just so much more rich. Those additional black levels on the Alienware, again, make a huge difference, even in this brighter scene here. It looks far more washed out on this side than it does on this side. Again, this still looks stunning. If I was just playing the game on this screen without comparing it, I would think it looks fantastic. But having this QD OLED there, just changes that completely. And here we are in a darker scene now in the same game. And I wouldn't have noticed this before, before trying out the QD OLED, but it's just all off on this side. It's tried to obviously simulate those darker black levels and it just hasn't got it. No matter how much you try with a backlit LED, it's just not going to work as you would like it to in comparison to the true blacks available with an OLED. I've been using this more traditional monitor over here for a number of years, as I mentioned. And like I say, I've been really impressed with it. But upgrading to this QD OLED from Alienware has just been an absolute game changer for me. Not only in terms of my content consumption, whether that be, you know, playing my PS5 games or PC games, uh, watching content on YouTube, but also in my content creation as well. Editing is just an absolute joy on this monitor. Folks, what did you think of that comparison? Again, I do want to clarify that unless you actually see this display in real life, you are not getting the full impact of what it is capable of, but it is absolutely phenomenal. But hopefully showing it next to a more traditional 4K with HDR monitor that is standard LED does show that there is a big difference. But if you've actually seen this Alienware 32 inch in real life and what it's capable of, I'd be really interested in hearing your thoughts as well. Again, and this is not a sponsored video, just a purchase I made that I'm really happy with and wanted to share it with all of you. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully the comparison helped and I'll catch you next time.